What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance Crew, and you are watching DaVinci Reacts. Um, today, I have a new TV series that I'm doing a reaction to. This does not mean that I'm going to stop doing reactions to Friday Night Dinner. I've already explained I'm going to alternate between seasons with Friday Night Dinner and Peep Show. So this is me starting Peep Show. After I get done with season one, I will move on to season two of Friday Night Dinner, and then I'll move on to season two of Peep Show, and so on and after season three, then if I decide to continue to do those two shows, then I'll do that. If I feel like moving to something else, then I'll do that. It really depends on how I'm feeling, but that's the gist of it. Also, I will have a third TV series that I'll be doing a reaction to soon on Patreon. If you want to sign up for my Patreon account, it is in the description box down below. That's the best way you can support my channel. It gives you exclusive content, such as, like I said, the TV show that will be exclusive to Patreon and movie reactions. So recently I've done movie reactions to both the Inbetweeners movies and I have one coming up about the Death of Stalin movie, which was very great. I love watching it. <laughs> so if you want to check that out, it will be up the same time that this video is coming up. So be sure to check out my Patreon. Now, with that being said, let's jump into this and see what it has to offer. This is I have never in the history of my channel received as much vitriol for a particular show when it comes to recommendations than I have for Peep Show. Like, there have been people who have used bots to try to influence polls. There, and it's not just Peep Show, but Peep Show was one of them. There were people that have talked crap about other shows saying, oh, you don't need to do that. That show sucks. Do Peep Shows. I've had, like, never have I received anything remotely like this. So, you guys have set up Peep Show to have some very high expectations as far as I'm concerned. And they better hold up. <laughs> like, I'm expecting quality award winning TV show right here. So I'm, that's what I'm hoping happens. Now, before I jump into this first episode, a couple things I want to establish. One, this is going to be a DaVinci Watch video. Um... It might be DaVinci Reacts, depending on whether or not they allow it to get up. If you don't see it in your country and you're watching a DaVinci Watch version right now, that means that it was blocked in your country. I always put up a reaction version with the uh, Watch version. So I'm going to have a video right here that's going to explain how DaVinci Watch videos work. So watch the video. And then if you feel like you can't do it, that's fine. Uh, you can move on to another video. But... Don't get into the video complaining about there not being sound or whatever else when I'm about to explain to you how to do it right here. What is up, YouTube? I'm about to demonstrate how you would normally perform a DaVinci Watch video, the best way to watch it anyway. So when you start the video up, it starts up normal. What is up, YouTube? Oh, look at that. It goes my handsome face. Okay, so go down to the description. Right click on next to the link that says original video for syncing. Right click it. Click open in new window. Once you click that, the original link is going to appear in a new window. You're going to stop the video. Try to shrink it down as much as you can. And then you want to put the video in the corner as if you were watching a normal reaction. So once you start it, obviously the video is going to jump back if you're using it on a PC. You want to try to get to the point where I'm going to do the countdown. Normally, do not skip the intro. There's a lot of important information in it, but I'm going to skip it for demonstration purposes. So once the, so once the, uh, everybody's uh, on point. With once the countdown with starts. Screen. Now, with that being said, you ready? The video is set to zero, 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 zero. Everything is from also the very beginning. Turn, turn off the mute. I'm about to do the <laughs> countdown. When I say go, hit the play button. Three, two, one, go. There we go. See, this is Friday Night Dinner, Season 1, Episode 1. And it's that easy. Obviously, you would have to sound. Simon Bird. So, that is what you would normally do in order to get the reaction normally on a DaVinci Watch. Oh, you know the head bopping doesn't stop. Okay, you can, you can stop with the head bopping. Thank, thanks, DaVinci. I appreciate it. That is how you do a DaVinci Watch video. <laughs> if you have any more questions, go to the comment section and leave them there. Thank you. Okay, so hopefully now you know how DaVinci Watch videos work. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. If this is a DaVinci Watch video, there's going to be no sound, obviously. So it's possible you might hear some background stuff. 
my window is kind of open right now and because this is around the 4th of July in America you will probably hear some fireworks in the background I don't know it's possible <laughs> so uh, if you do hear any type of loud bang or anything like that just know people are going crazy with the fireworks hopefully it won't be hopefully it won't get too uh, inconvenient for you guys now with that being said just because this is a new series, just know I do reserve the right to stop doing a reaction to a TV show that I am not interested in. If it's something that can't catch my interest after three episodes, I will move on to another show. I say this with every single show. I said it with Inbetweeners. I said it with Friday Night Dinner. And I'm going to continue to say it with every show that I do reactions to. Don't take it personal if I don't like the show and you love it because it's just not my taste. Um, sometimes I will have... Uh, shows that are very popular that I'm just not a fan of. I already told you guys I'm not a fan of Seinfeld. I'm not a fan of Frasier. I'm not a fan of um, a handful of shows that are considered award-winning, greatest of all time TV shows. I'm just not a fan of them. Sometimes it happens. So if I don't like Peep Show, again, don't take it personal. It's not me shitting on your taste or anything like that. It's just something that wasn't something that interests me. Now, with that being said, let's jump into this and see what it has to offer. I'm going to give you guys the countdown. When I say go, that's when we all hit a play, hit the play button on the original video and everything should be synced up. Uh, let's check it out. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I miss. Ignore that. <laughs> False start. Try this again. Three, two, one. Oh, damn it. It moved away. Damn it, Bobby. Okay, try this one more time. Okay, three, two, one, go go there we go it finally started <laughs> i'm gonna have to edit something in so you guys know when to properly start the video not really a huge head bopper Genius. What the hell is he about to do? Yeah. Maybe a tattoo on my chest, but of my face. Yeah, double me. That's some Genius. Johnny Cage levels of narcissism. Some Steve on there. She's on there. Got to get the same bus home. Don't go. Almost there. Yes, I am the Lord of the Bus, said he. Where is she? Nika, she's not on here. Hey, Mark, Sophie. Hey, we must stop meeting like this. <laughs> yeah, I was running. Were you running? Right behind you, I shouted, but... <laughs> yeah, of course, stupid music. Why don't you, uh... So, what did you make... This camera of... angle is oh, very no, interesting. Shit, I can say. No, too late. Already, it's too late. Maybe if we hit a bump, I can slip it out. You should probably say something, otherwise it's going to cause a big misunderstanding. To keep the circulation going. Just... Oh, God, there's something. Mark, you... Yeah, just, just your say... Your uh, Oh. Now you're fucked. I was going to say, but I just... Sorry. No, no, it's fine. Of course, she's giving you the book off. Ugh. Women don't want oh, your book hand off. their bottoms, Mark. That's been established, that's a given. She sat on it, officer. It was an accident. Of course it was. Now, get in with the nonsense. Is the hand still down there? What a disaster. They're going to trap me, and their brothers will hack me to... Here, look, you can... You're not a pedo. You're definitely not a pedo. Those kids have no idea whatsoever of what went on at Stalingrad. Although what the I can hell? No way to compare my struggle reading it with that of the Red Army. It what does Stalingrad have to do with that? I'm basically working to make someone like myself. That's exactly the opposite of what I'm looking for. Hey man. Hey man. These Whoa. camera angles I'm are telling you, interesting. Now I know how what's his name felt when he finished the Mona Lisa. Knackered. So how was your day? Shit. Well, Tony came round to drop this off. Oh, a party. 
Did you, you know, make your move? No, no. She was going to Starbucks to read a book. It's one of her things. Besides the move, I mean, it's not a whole Sophie uptight situation. We're just gradually sliding into a, a fuck buddy scenario. Fuck buddy. Yeah, a buddy. You can fuck. I mean, we're both so relaxed about the whole sex thing. Last time I was around there, we watched a porno. Four in the afternoon, just me and her watching a porno. I mean, that's me. I'm just not ready for the kind of thing you're after. The I whole think friends with benefits is just a little more classy sounding. With. Yeah, I suppose. I don't want to go to Waitrose. I want a fuck buddy. I wish I was her fuck buddy next door. We could do it through the wall. How thick is wall? Depends. So, uh, which Starbucks does she go to? Come on, come on, piss off. I want to go to the shop. Need a poo, got to have loo paper. Need a poo? I should be able to just walk out of my own front door. What's wrong with me? It'd be great if a car just ploughed into the lot of them. What the hell are they Twisted, doing? broken bones. So you can spit the highest? Mark, are you okay? Hi, Tony. I, I'm fine. I, I was just checking the letterbox for... Sometimes they get stuck in there and for the next thing you know, your phone's cut off. Right. God, you know they haven't got any Alpen at that stupid corner shop? No. I asked him, I said, have you got any Alpen? He said, no. I said, well, are you going to be ordering any in? And he said he didn't know. Oh, right. That is a bit crap. It's ridiculous. What kind of a shop doesn't have Alpen? I don't know. Go on. Explain what Alpen I've is for Alpen. me. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, you could have some. What are you doing? What about the poo? If I can just hold yeah, it in. Cereal. I think it's retreating. So, here we are then. Bolo Alpen. He's crowning. It always makes me think of skiing holidays. We always used to go skiing on I have to explain what Alpen is. Looks like Raisin Bran or something. I've got a sister. Looks good, though. She's a lawyer, actually. Don't boast. What, uh, what does your sister do? Not much. She's got leukemia. That's what you get for trying to flirt. That's terrible. I, I'm so sorry. I suppose... I mean, at least it's not cancer. It's a form of cancer. What? <laughs> yeah, My gran died of cancer. Oh, man. Although, hopefully, your sister won't. Obviously. Listen, let's, let's talk about something else. Something fun. That cringe is coming. Do you like Blackadder? I got the Blackadder set for Christmas. I never really... I mean... Yeah, sure, forget it. Terrible idea. <laughs> I know. I know something funny. This is outrageous. This is contagious. And he's been working on it for about a month. Wait, this is the best bit. <laughs> when in doubt, Grammy shit going on your roommate. My homeboys in Compton, the Japanese people who mean so much to me. Hey, Mark's playing my track. Did a British dude just give a shout out to Compton? <laughs> Unless there's a place in the UK called Compton. Yes. What's going on? Tony. Keep away from it. Great idea, Mark. Humiliate your best mate just to. I mean, why didn't we just play off fellow? Oh, I'd love to bang her. Just. Buckle down, do your time like Leslie Grant. Did you ever take your poo? Hey, Speaking Jay, chili. you're up. Yes, that's right. I'm up. I'm making chicken tikka. Plus, I've bought us loads of great stuff. The hell stuff. is chicken tikka? Tune on DVD, Bakewell slices, gin, and Sarah Lee. Plus, I was thinking, you know that 30 quid you owe me? Let's call it quits, yeah? I mean, not quits, but, you know... I'm just really, 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 really sorry. The Jay. hell? Maybe he doesn't mind. Maybe nobody minds about things as much as me. Because it was only a balls up. <laughs> I balls up. He's giving you the death fine. stare. I don't... This will be ready in a minute. I think he minds. And we can eat it in front of Hitler's henchmen. Yeah. And, uh, listen, by the way, you know Kerry, Cancer Kerry? Yeah. I need to find out for a, a friend the name of that Chinese doctor. What the hell is he doing? Can you remember? Sure. Is that like chili and he's just biting into a, a it was Dr. block Yin of cheese? Fu Yip Wang Shong Pang Fang Wang Dang Dong Ning Po Ku. 
Oh, right. <laughs> I see. I That's not a real name at all. I'm lampooning you. It was a simple lampoon. Hey, Jez, what's up, man? Super hands. Find a Guinness, please. No logo on the phone. No logo on the phone. Hey, don't buy into all that one, do you? What the old... Ooh, ooh, I've got a clover in me phone. I'm so important. No, what you're doing there is... I mean, I'm liking the cringe. I'm, I'm liking the cringe. Hey. The characters are cool. Shit dead. So Did far, you? I'm enjoying right. it. Only thing I don't like is so the camera angles. The, the, the shaky, uh, weird no, 90s ad thinking, cam thing. I'm not sure. I think it just seems off-putting. Shit. Whoa. Hold it, cowboy. Rewind. What shit? The track's shit. Jez, the track's the shit. It's just I found Mark laughing at it. Oh, well, so Mr. fucking ocean colour pants don't get it. Well, Kel fucking surprise. Plus, he was doing it in front of Tony. Mate, you got to get some Rewenge. He broke a meta. You think? Listen, the whole industry is run by suits like your mate. You think that's why we haven't got a deal yet? Of course it is. They're all a bunch of marks, aren't they? Sitting behind their big marble desks, tires done up to 11, clicking their fingers to the fucking lighthouse family. Getting their dick sucked by a big Alsatian dog. Yeah? They're all perverts, mate. All in with each other. It's not who you know. It's who you blow. Mm. Right. Why shouldn't I go for Tony? So what does he scared tell you? Me. You can have a good relationship with someone that scares you. Look at me and Dad. Oh, shit. Relax, relax, it's okay. You're not a pedo. You're just a normal human being walking past some simple children. Hi there. Hey, look, it's clean shirt. Clean shirt? What does that mean? Isn't that Is good? Is that supposed to be an insult? Look at that shirt, it's so clean, mate. You can handle it. <laughs> Use the power of reason. Look, I know it must be difficult being a kid. Not a lot of schemes, but, you know, I'm not the borough. I, I wish I was, but... Fuck off, clean shirt. I'm just a man. Can't we just... Hey, no, no, I'll take, 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 don't, don't take my phone. Uh, don't my stop it. Well, you're going to take that boat off and whoop them little kids' ass. Me and Tony, Tony and me. When his That's kooky funny, charm starts to cloy, <laughs> I'll be right there. Fuck buddy number two. Yeah, great. Wait for the crumbs to fall while my nuts slowly shrivel. Actually, I hope they do shrivel. They're getting disturbed. <sighs> Oof, what's the matter? Oof. I thought you liked it before. <laughs> How did... What does it mean? It means Omer. It means Ray Wayne. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I humiliated you in front of Tony. Don't think I can't see you, Mark. I'm trying to get a slice of my action because Sophie the office girl won't put out Oh, right. The gloves are off, are they? Well, then, perhaps it's best you do know what I think of your music. Well, let's have some more truth, shall we? Yeah? Yeah? Because the truth is, you're a posh spaz. Oh, really? Well, I'd love to know in what way I am a posh spaz. In the way that you're always doing posh, spazzy things, like tidying up and ironing your socks. I do not iron my socks. Socks, yeah. shirts, uh, Ironing your whatever. socks is a bit much. It's like the anime I'm breaks. I'm going to the party. <laughs> and I'll Full get in the end. I have the Full power of the brain. <laughs> the most erotic muscle. The longbow beats the crossbow, my idiotic friend. Are you eating spaghetti with two utensils? That's pretty posh. Hey, look, just lay off. That's my bit of lager. Oh, I get it. Are you going to do me in? Don't be ridiculous. Are you going to punch me, Mark? Is that it? Is that what's going to happen? You just... You, you're lucky, I don't... You're just very, very lucky. You're an animal, Corrigan. You have to keep your tie done up to 11. Otherwise, all this grey, ugly, office envy sludge will just spill out and drown you and... And you've got weird nuts. What? How did you... If you're going to watch the TV in your dressing gown, you might want to put some pants on. Pants mean underwear. I know that. So, I'm glad we cleared that, That's strange. Me too. I feel better, much better, like a weight has been lifted. Me too. That's exactly how I feel. He put a weight on something. Hey, hey, hey. it's the guys. Come on in. So, Tony's friends. Who, what, That party why, seems where? dead. <laughs> yeah, lots of fun. I don't know anyone. These are our neighbors. 
neighbors. Yeah, this party Why, seems did you dead as hell. Friends? I tell you, you find out who your real friends are when you set fire to Hampton Court maze because you can't take any more of your husband's shit. Yeah, well, it's great to know your neighbors. Yeah. I mean, not just from a home security point of view, right. but also... Right, exactly. So, drinks? Wicked. If I laugh at everything she says, I'm bound to at least get a suck job. Maybe I should forget it, leave her to him, concentrate on the long game, work on a six-pack by Christmas, then make... Why should I? We really had something going when we were laughing at Jeremy. Oh, too late. They're bonding. Oh, she's not really What's laughing, but he is. I know, but... Yeah, listen, he's laughing, but she isn't. That's not a good sign. <laughs> the breakfast... The breakfast fridge magnets. Everybody has them. Yeah, but if I pull out now, that's the deposit gone. Right. Nightmare. On the other hand... Jesus, how did I get trapped with her? She is definitely the most boring person here. I mean, they look great. They're probably talking about how they're going to make a real-life porn movie with a proper story and everything. I could do the music. Right, so where do you live in the building? Oh, I don't live here. I'm Tony's sister. Oh, okay. And what do you do? I work in the music business. Mm. There you go. You do? <laughs> that got his interest. Well, that's amazing. That's just really amazing. Wow. So, everyone might stand someone famous. We swap, put them it's on It's almost like he only cares about himself. And who we are by asking questions. It's really, really funny because... <laughs> anyway, let's just play. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Paul is going to love this. Very Iggy. <laughs> and the funny thing is going to be, he probably doesn't draw it. Stop your in the bowl. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll, could I do mine again? We're not playing for points, mate. Come on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, it'll lead to something interesting no, happening, no, that's for sure. On, just what, this one's mine. Him, him, him? Yeah, how did you... Hey, Jeremy, have you worked at your... Oh, don't even go there. It is literally impossible. Turns out I was just someone's secretary. The home secretary, Jeremy. You're the home secretary. Yeah, right, whatever. We're just popping next door. You're going next door? The coast is clear. The coast is clear! That's right, yeah. I'm taking Paula back to listen to my work. She seems like someone who'd appreciate a good track when she heard it. Cool. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, sis. <laughs> Which leaves her a hell of a lot of leeway. <laughs> <laughs> I am in here. Sis. It would be if Sister. you knew how to Shit. talk to Excuse girls. Me. Jed, can I have a word? Yeah, that's right. I'm going. The coast is clear. I don't expect you'll get very far, but by all means, have a pop at the champ. Look, I thought I'd better tell you. Uh, Paula, she's... She has cancer. What? Are you serious? I just thought I'd better mention it. You, you don't want to drop a clanger. No, right. Is it Jamie Oliver? Well, you're a cock monster, OK? Feel it. Yeah, feel it. Wow. Of course, you can't catch cancer. I mean, I'd have heard. Someone would have said. Yeah, OK. I think I've heard enough. That's not a good sign. Yeah. It's okay. Do you really think so? What kind? Blood, bone, knee, face? Yeah, I mean, I like it. That'd be blood great. cancer. I mean, that's great. But listen, I'm bone guessing you didn't specific, invite me around to your room just to listen to some tape, right? Shit. Of course. It's who you blow. No. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I know the rules. Are you yeah. going to take this? Let's get it on, baby. That was horrible. <laughs> Barry, that guy is one serious power tripper. He was all over my Rizzler game. Okay, Mark, Back you asked for it, now you've got it. She's looking okay. for a fuck buddy. Gotta change to gears, source things up. I mean, he's just so... Yeah, take the A304. I mean, yes, we can see your hairy chest. And no, we're not impressed. Yeah, so uh, Jeremy tells me you two watched uh, a porno together. You know... Something happened. Well, it paused the video at 17.30. Something stopped on my end. Trying to see what's going on. Hopefully the internet didn't go out. I will probably chop out this portion so it'll come back up and then I'll give you guys the time and 
the point to start it up again. I'd be into. Let's go back to 1730. Alright. So I just moved the slider to 1730. Uh, one second, let me start. Give me a starting point. Okay, so everything is working as of right now. I don't know if it'll stop again, but just in case, you know, I will do the same thing again. Um, Timestamp is 1730, so set your devices to 1730, and then I'm going to do the 3, 2, 1, go again, and we will start the video. So get ready. 3, 2, 1, go. Been two. That wasn't a porno. That was the English patient. Ha! What an idiotic boob. He's out. I'm in. Now, what's my shtick? Yeah, you know, the Red Army shot 16,000 of their own men at Stalingrad. What the okay. fuck? <laughs> and of course, the majority of the Wehrmacht had no winter clothing. I'm the tank commander now, Barry. Well, I know how they feel. I mean, you buy classic, but classic keeps changing. Uh-huh. See, by the winter of 42, <laughs> the whole city was surrounded by the mass. Army. What the fuck is he talking about? And pressing. And pressing. The Russians oh. couldn't hold on much longer. Many wanted the to cringe. Submit. Mark, you know I don't just bang anyone, yeah? I'm not some kind of next door fuck jar. The cringe. Me. Oh my no, god. Not. What I mean is that the German supply lines were stretched. You're already too Two deep in. Counted. Just just confess your feelings, bro. And the siege was broken. Not too hard, but let her know that you're attracted to her. And that's all the story of Stalingrad. You're a sunshine coach. You're bringing a last smile to... Oh. No, um, if we've got to do this, do you mind keeping the hat on? It's just... Sorry. We don't have to do anything, Jeremy. No? No. I mean, I don't mind, you know. I'd just rather not... We could take Polaroids of me, you know, all excited, and then you could take them away or something. I am very keen to sort you out, so to speak. Jeremy, shut the fuck up, please. That was embarrassing. Not a fuck jar. Both Don't sides dwell. were very Neither embarrassing. Dwell. Think charming, considerate. So, your sister, she looks great, considering... Considering what? She doesn't have any dress sense. No, you know, the don't, whole thing. Don't, the, don't the say routine. considering, please. Oh, no, that's not Paula. Paula's my half-sister. No, Paula's doing fine. Apart from her idea of a birthday present is a bunch of CD singles. And yes, I do know you get them for free. Uh, Tony, we're dry. I was thinking maybe someone should run for the offie before it shuts. The second front. I can win on the second front. This is so perfect. I'm going to be the knight on horseback. So he runs into the kids again. To feed the Mexican army. The kids oh, about to whoop shit. your ass. Shit, fuck off. Don't you fuck the <laughs> I fuck told off. you. The kids yeah. about to whoop his ass. Run the gauntlet. <laughs> the little bastards will. It's going to shut as well. Better make some type uh, of deal. Excuse me, mate. Uh, Very blank. Sorry to bother you. This is a bit embarrassing, really, but. Uh, you couldn't possibly oh buy me a couple of bottles of wine, could you? Pinot Grigio, maybe, or... Oh, you better. Please, you should have offered the kids some type of candy or something. Like, hey, I'll buy you something. But on the song, do you really... Just let me go ahead and get through and come well, back I mean, out. It's hard to get that excited about. Yeah, well, I guess you're not in the right frame of mind to... Don't go on about it. Jesus. I mean, are you going to do any more work on it? How much time has she got? Maybe. I mean, how long are you planning to... Stay in your job. Oh, you know, as long as I last. <laughs> right. Look, should you be doing that? Probably not, but, you know, fuck it. <laughs> you know, I do think you're brave. Damn, I just think damn, you're damn. very, very brave. I make my decisions, I, I stick by them. Everybody said you couldn't market acid jazz for the over 30s, and I was like, fuck that shit. Listen to you, you beautiful, crazy thing. I meant the cancer. I'm sorry, which cancer? The bloody cancer eating you away. Okay. Would you like it if I did have cancer? I bet Zukov would have got some booze. Oh. Oh, yeah. You're back. <laughs> I think it's Damn. winding down a bit now, actually, mate. Bastard. 
Oh, yeah, very funny. I suppose you think cancer is just this huge, enormous, practical joke. What? Oh, Jeremy. The I'm hell's so going on? I thought... No, no, you're quite the guy. Certainly not the kind of sicko to ruin someone's music career by suggesting that certain other people have cancer. <laughs> what joke is next? Uh, hey, Jez, your mum's dead. Boom! Bloody hilarious. What's going on? I accidentally told him Paula had cancer. Jeremy, Mark got it wrong. He thought Paula was ill. She's not. It was a mistake. Well, I'm sure if Kerry was here, she'd be rolling around the floor. Except she couldn't because she's head to toe in acupuncture needles. Hey, listen, mate. I made a mistake. It was you who wouldn't give the name of the doctor for Tony's sister. He wouldn't give the name for Cell. Ooh. What's the big deal? So I didn't give him the number for Dr. Tang. She's got leukemia. Sticking a few needles in her face at 50 quid a pop is not going to fix that. Damn. Okay, I think it's time for you boys to fuck off now. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a, a relationship ender. Yeah, well, really, really nice to catch up, so see you tomorrow? Tomorrow, great. Yeah, that's the way. Sophie's the one. Tony's Russia. Vast, mysterious, unconquerable. Sophie's Poland. Manageable. Won't put up too much of a fight. Shit. Insensitive okay. as hell, damn. Okay. You want some, do you? You want a taste of my steel? <laughs> you better play it off like a game, goddammit. Did those feet in ancient times. Well, that was cringy as fuck. Um, <laughs> but it's a different kind of uh, cringy. Um, the in between us, for example, was it was disappointing cringy. Like I was disappointed. They would always like build up my hope that they're gonna learn something, and then towards the end, it's like they just screw it up, and you're just like, ah, oh, you were doing so well at the beginning. Why did you mess it up so damn bad? Well, some characters like Will always does well in the beginning, screws up royally in the end. Uh, Simon, he was, yeah, he was like average in the beginning, but then he gets too attached and ruins it. Um, Neil was a winner. Neil, be like Neil. If anything, be like Neil. Um, this series, I didn't really have hope for him in the beginning. <laughs> like, dude felt like he was already screwed from day one. It just, so I didn't really feel, it didn't feel like, I was invested enough to be disappointed in them. It felt more like watching a tra a, a train wreck. Like you you see it coming, and when it happens, it's like, yep, I pretty much expected that. And like, I, I I can't really speak too much on it. It's like I wish that there was someone there to coach them because I don't feel like there's any hope for them right now to begin with. And they're not really on like a, they're not showing me any signs that they're going to improve. <laughs> like both of them just seem like lost causes as far as like trying to talk to girls and stuff. Try not to be, uh, if you want to take a lesson from this, try not to be so damn selfish. Girls don't owe you anything just by talking to them. Dude made it seem like he was just expected to get a blowjob or something out of the deal. And it's like. That's not how things usually work. <laughs> I know this is a comedy, okay? So I'm I'm, ta I'm saying this for the people that do want to learn something. Don't take stuff too serious, as always. Uh, go with the flow. Those are fireworks. And yeah, go with the flow. Try to. Um, You know, show the girl that you have interest and passions that are unrelated to her. Like, something you enjoy doing. Just let her, don't get obsessed with it, but just let her know that this is what you like. This is your plans for it. And if she's interested in it, then continue to talk about it. But if not, then ask her what she's into and try to see if you can find something in common. Um, once you find something in common... Hopefully it's something that you're interested in. If you are, you got yourselves a conversation. If not, 
find something else to talk about. But <laughs> yeah, that whole Stalingrad stuff was just bad. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell looks in history books for pickup lines? Like, I, it just seemed like, like I said, it was it was doomed to fail from day one. The dude was reading a book about Stalingrad and using that to pick up girls. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. And he wasn't even like using euphemisms for, like, for Stalingrad being the girl or one of the armies being the girl or anything like that. It seemed like he tried, but it wasn't properly connected. I'm pretty sure the girl didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. But, um, yeah, the dude isn't that smooth. Hopefully, things will improve as time goes on. But so far, I enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, I will be checking out more episodes. Um, if it continues to be on this level, I'll continue with the first season. Um that's the only thing I don't like about the, the show is the camera shots and the speedy cam and the first person uh, angles and shaky and all that. It, it seems like somebody is having a drug trip <laughs> and it just seems like it just seems off to me, especially considering that the characters aren't really all that like hyper and like active. So it just seems weird that the camera is all moving all over the place. It takes me back to the 90s when they were doing like uh ads for mtv and playstations and things like that like just camera flipping the hell out but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit that like button subscribe and share hopefully the break in the middle of the video wasn't too inconvenient i try to i try my best not to pause it for the people that are watching the watch version of the video um also for those of you that are having problems with ads because i know a lot of people talk about channel four and like the video having a lot of ads in it. What I use, I use a, a extension on Firefox called uBlock Origin. It allows you to negate the ads in the video, but at the same time allows you to watch the video. Because if you use just regular ad blocker, it's not going to allow you to watch the video. So if you use uBlock, it will allow you to watch the video, but still cut out the ads. That's why my videos don't have ads in them. Now with that being said, well, hopefully I might have just blew my entire cover. <laughs> if anybody from Channel 4 is watching this, I'm sure they use this extension while it lasts, okay? <laughs> now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and give you the deuces, and I look forward to seeing you guys in a future video. So, I'm Devon DaVinci, signing out. Deuces.